Hey, it's Joe with I Know Jackson. I have a great show lined up for you this week. First, we're going to a small place on Mayport Road for great pie. I love this place and I'm sure you will too. And then we have Jeff Spear, the gadget guy with new interesting kitchen gadgets for us to look at. I also have a story from the Running with the Bulls event with the Roller Girls. It's a lot of fun. And as usual, we're going to talk about craft beer and find out what's brewing in Jack. The ladies at Pie Heaven are just great people. Anita is a lot of fun and I just love their little shop on Mayport Road. Now when you go inside, you can immediately smell the deliciousness. Just take a look. Pie Heaven is a little slice of paradise tucked away in a small blue house on Mayport Road. Anita is making me their best-selling pie, the chicken pot pie. People like to eat healthy, you know, they don't want Heck yeah, chemicals just in their like, food. they want it just like grandma made it. That's right, only you know, God knows what she used. <laughs> right. I have With no idea what they want to Lard and all kinds of stuff. We're going to use some chicken that's been, um, it lived a nice happy life before it <laughs> sacrificed itself. They didn't put any antibiotics in it. Yeah, I used to freak out when my mother said, yeah, your grandmother would go out and she'd Cut the head off a chicken for breakfast. Yeah, we, we rang our chicken necks. We didn't cut them off. <laughs> yeah, that. Just a little crank like you're starting a Model T. Not a big deal. It's time for the heavenly spice mix. I smelled sage, rosemary, and pepper, I think. We lace our crust and the chicken with this. Okay, so cool. this kind of is like layered. So it kind of permeates the throughout the yeah. whole thing. What was it that popped into your head that said, I want to make a pie shop? I was really craving pie. <laughs> Honestly. That's I where it started. That's really the truth. I mean, you know, I was in, in commercial insurance for like 25 years. Okay. And I had been laid off for uh, several times. This this was a long right. stint, like two years. So I'm thinking, it's time to open a business. Right. But because I had been in the corporate world for so long, I thought, you know, stockbroker or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Then, I didn't connect the dots with this food business here. You know, I just wanted to eat. Yeah. So I'm, I'm actually walking on the beach, talking to God, going like, hey God, what kind of business can I start? And by the way, somebody needs to and, open a pie and shop because I really want pie. And you said, hi. <laughs> yeah, there was no place to go. Linda and I had been friends for a long time, and I said, Linda, I'm going to go look at some equipment. I'm opening a pie shop. Did you know that I've been working catering for five years? Very I cool. had no clue. She's pretty awesome in the kitchen. I really couldn't do this without her. I've kind of noticed kinda that about that. that out, right? She's like, <laughs> You said you don't do kitchen work, though. Well, this part I can do. All right. Hot sauce. I love oh, my hot Lord sauce. Lord Jesus, help us. <laughs> four splashes. Four splashes. Now, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'll tell you when. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Whoa, okay. I can smell the hot sauce. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is definitely your pie. <laughs> You're taking this bad boy home. All right, let's just see how this works out here. Ready? It's a little, it's a little. A little hot. I did it straight. Okay. Sorry. Right. Got a little kick? A little kick, but not. That's mild. What are you talking about? <laughs> Next, the roasted chicken breast is mixed in and it smells so good. Anita adds organic veggies to all that goodness. She prepares the crust. About three cups goes into each pie. This is a big pie with a lot of chicken. Last, she adds egg wash to the top and now the pie is ready to be baked. 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Exactly. Ish. Ish. I look at it. Every <laughs> pie has its own little personality. Depending on whether or not there's five pies in the oven well, or one pie. That's got some... This will be 40 minutes. Okay. Now you just get in there and bake. We'll see you in a little while. So I'm going to set the timer because, you know, we get just, to talk and I might forget. You might. <laughs> I know I've done work. that, you know, and then you're out there ringing up somebody and they're like, I smell pie. Time's up. You ready? I'm ready for some chicken pot pie. Oh, you're so pretty. Now, besides this, what are the other types of pies that you guys do? You, you said? We do savories like quiche. There's a couple right. of quiches right there ready to go out the door to somebody. We do And shepherd's pie, pie I heard, shepherd's right? shepherd's pie, yeah. I use Australian grass-fed antibiotic-free beef. Isn't that a mouthful? 
I like that it's though. Good. It's good. It's quite yummy. And then a lot of fruit pies, right? Lots. Like a gazillion. Yeah, to we quote have Linda. Over four dozen kinds or was it 90 million? I'm sorry. Well, I don't know. Was it a billion? It was 90 million. Nine. 90 million. 90 million different That's types what of she pies. Made just today. <laughs> yeah. Didn't that look great? They have different types of fruit pies depending on the season. You really have to go there and check it out. Next, we're going to check out some cool gadgets. This time we're doing a little bit of a wild mix of gadgets and it's all for fun. So today I'm here with Jeff Spear, the gadget guy, and we're gonna talk about cool designs, right? We are. A lot cool, of cool design stuff here. Cool designs for the kitchen. For the kitchen. Yeah. So, Sometimes you want to have gadgets in the kitchen that are efficient, that make life easier. Sometimes you want to have them because they're cool. And today's just about cool. Okay, talk to me okay. about cool. Okay. I, being cool, like talking about cool. Well, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Should I call you your coolness? <laughs> yeah, no, I thought you'd call me a, a liar. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let me start off with this. This is these are just thermos bottles. These are made by Zoku. Okay. They're this is a 12 ounce. They come in 18 and 25 ounce. 25 okay. ounce is your cocktail size from uh, what yeah, I understand. Well, yeah, the, yeah, the bigger the but, better. But what's nice is that no more plastic bottles at the beach. Right. It keeps things cold. Uh, the 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 specifications say cold for 30 hours, okay. hot for 10. Okay. So your coffee, your your water, your, or whatever you're going to put in here. My mojito. We'll good to go. Cold. You're good to go. Comes in lots of different colors. Okay. That's really nice. Easy thing. Now, if you have kids, okay, these are two devices from Urban Trend. Now, the cool thing about this is there's a button on the side, and you push it, and and this flattens out, so oh, it goes in the slippers. drawer. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Now, this particular device. Sorry, it's awkward for me here. Um, this is a her an herb cutter, okay. multiple blades. You put your herbs on a table and you roll. And you roll. Okay. Cool. It, it chops up the herbs. Now I've tested this. Okay. It's okay. I would actually recommend, if you're serious about cooking, use a good knife. But if you want to get the kids involved, that's a good way if to you go. Want, and this is safer than yeah. holding a knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, in the same vein, this is a pizza cutter. It also... It folds flat. It well. folds flat. Okay. Okay. And it will cut the pizza. Gotcha. Now, this, if you have issues with dexterity, right. this might be good for stability. So grip is a problem. Yeah. yeah. This is easier to hold. And this does work. Okay. I still prefer a, hand, a single roller uh, cutter. Or a And knife. I also use a knife. Yeah. Okay? I'm old school. I'll go with a knife. Yeah. So, um, just as Also a, known as cheap. Yeah, and, and these are about 20 bucks, so, you yeah, know, whatever you want. Now, when it comes to design... Dude, I'm just... I I, I, this thing is amazing. I understand what it is already. I know. It's a Klingon weapon. That's right. Yeah, that was it? That's it. Yeah, yeah. How did you get alien technology here on this show? So, we beamed so, it in. I know, right? <laughs> Seriously. So, when, it, when it comes to design in housewares, kitchenwares, it's hard to beat Alessi. Alessi, yeah. Italian, Italian designer. Great stuff, great sense of humor. Yeah. Um, this is actually a citrus zester. Okay. Now in another episode, we'll talk about yep. uh, zesting citrus. Gotcha. And it works quite well, but as a piece of art, I prefer to just have this put it and on put the it on the shelf. Yeah. So the glass goes down the here. The glass goes under, and there. it works. I've tested it out. Okay. I felt guilty using it, because <laughs> <laughs> it's such a pretty thing. Sure. But if you only do a little bit of juicing, it's, it's a like good an thing. aluminum yeah. sculpture, though, really. Yeah. Enjoy. And it's about 100 bucks, so you can get a, a, a good citrus press for about 16. <laughs> Got ya. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> now, I've opened this bottle of wine for a purpose. So if Joe, if you'll do the honors, okay. I'll explain this. This is a things. bottle stopper. It's produced by a company called Cook It. The thing, I, it comes in lots of different colors. It's real simple. If you happen to not know how to handle this thing, it doesn't matter which way it goes. It's, just <laughs> it's a, not discriminating. It's omnidirectional. So after your, if, now, Joe and I, I think we agree. If you open a bottle, you finish it. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> this is for rookies. But if you happen to be a rookie, it's yeah. useful. And so, easy and it's fun. Okay, cool. Okay, last but not least, I've got this. This is a retro kitchen timer. 
It's a timer. It works. <laughs> it works for up to 55 minutes. Very high tech too. Very high tech. You know, I mean, it's it's just got a. I love a, it. <laughs> but it looks cool. You yeah, know, it does. nice colors. It comes in different colors. It's you know uh, um, reminiscent of 50s auto design. Cool retro throwback look. Yeah, so yeah. it's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, I can see that on the front of a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> So some cool designs for the kitchen. A little bit functional, a little bit fun, a little bit purely decorative. Uh, I'm, I'm it's personal it. choice. Cool. And so. that's, that's the way it's always got to be for the gadget guy. And remember, if you're interested in checking out some of these gadgets and you didn't get all the details, you can always go to iknowjacks.com forward slash gadget guy. There we're going to have photos, details, and links to everything that's here. Yeah. And if anyone has questions, they can certainly email me as well. Yeah. So if you want to email and ask Jeff any questions, you can use gadgetguy at iknowjacks.com and he'll be happy to respond. Yeah, absolutely. And if you've got gadgets that you'd like us to review, let us know. Yeah, please. So. I understand you have a, a, a thing. At the end of every segment, I always like to finish off with just a nice little cheers. So, Joe, cheers, man. Cheers. See you on the next Gadget Guy. Now, I wanted to let you know about the Home and Patio Show. This year, I know Jax is sponsoring the cooking demo stage. Now, I'm going to be there all weekend long. Actually, the event starts on Thursday at 1230 when Jeff Spear, the Gadget Guy, is taking the stage. So, come out and see us. You can find the complete schedule on my website at iknowjax.com. I never understood why some guys are just dying to go to Pamplona and risk their lives running from bulls. I grew up in the country and I've actually had to run from a bull as a kid and I have no desire whatsoever to repeat that scary experience. But I love the idea of this fundraising event for the art that took place recently downtown Jacksonville. The Running of the Bulls 5K is today. It's an awesome event. It's a fun run featuring a 5K and a 1K course, and it features the Jacksonville Roller Derby as our Bulls. Uh, we give them red paint markers. They chase runners through downtown Jacksonville, gently goring them um, with red paint to see who survived. And then afterward, there's a great party at Intuition with complimentary beer from Intuition and food from Black Sheep and Maple Street and live music, family-friendly activities. So it's just a really great, fun event for everyone. This is our fourth year partnering with the ARC for this event. It's one of our favorite events every year, so we're really excited to chase some of our community members around downtown Jacksonville, um, support a good cause that is the ARC, and just show everyone what Jacksonville Roller Derby is all about. Matador ready again? Matt Catador. Catador. Runner set. Oh, I love the matching berets. This is great. Oh, hi. 
Good job, Aaron Jackson. Yeah, good we job, baby. You. you came so fast. <laughs> we were up watching you. I was still kind of sleeping, but. Now, I told you about Pamplona, and I'm sure you knew that the city is located in Spain. Now, that wasn't really much of a trivia question, was it? Instead, I'm going to hand it over to an expert when it comes to trivia. So here's Steve. Hey, this is Steve with Trivia Nation. It's time to get your think on. What movie deals with the search for one-eyed Willie's pirate treasure. I just wanted to let you know that I'm now sending out The Insider every Tuesday. You'll get tips and ideas for cool things to do, plus you'll find out what I'm up to and where we're filming next. That kind of stuff. You can subscribe to The Insider on my website at iknowjax.com. Before the break we asked you, what movie deals with the search for One-Eyed Willie's pirate treasure? That answer is, of course, The Goonies. Please join us at any of our 50 locations in Northeast Florida. Just go to TriviaNation.com for more details. I love the craft beer scene in Jacksonville. There are so many great craft beer breweries and beer events, so let's see what's happening in Jax. Hey, and welcome to What's Brewing in Jax. Every week I take a look at what's happening in the craft beer scene in the Jacksonville area. I'm at Really Good Beer Stop on 3rd Street in Jax Beach, and today, I'm having pinks and greens from Ellipsis Brewing in Orlando. Love drinking beer from those small Florida breweries like Ellipsis. On Wednesday, February 28th from 6 to 8 p.m., it's Founder Solid Gold Lager Launch right here at Really Good Beer Stop. Saturday, March 3rd, is time for the 10th year celebration of Riverside Arts Market. Has it been that long? <laughs> I actually remember when it opened. It happened when I still lived in St. Mary's, Georgia, and I went to one of the first markets and thought, this is pretty cool. <laughs> but if you look at Riverside Arts Market now, it's grown tremendously. There are a lot of vendors and great food. And recently, I did a story about Evan from Pie 95. He does awesome wood-fired pizza, from a food truck and check them out next time you're at Riverside Arts Market. On Saturday 3rd, Wicked Barley's gonna be there. I love it, beer and pizza, how about you? March is National Craft Month, so here at Really Good Beer Stop, they are celebrating that with a special candle making class. McMaddie's Repurposed Design is hosting this popular event and hey, when you combine craft making with good craft beer, I'm all in. <laughs> Just throw away my man card. <laughs> Let's make some candles and drink some beer. The event takes place March 3rd at 6 p.m. Now on the same day, Gyps and Pearl is having a wine tasting right here at Grilly Good Beer Stop. So if you have friends who are not really convinced that craft beer is the best thing ever, then drag them out to Really Good Beer Stop that night. You can sample wines that Gyps and Pearl have right next door and you can buy them there. So that could be a lot of fun. That's on Saturday, March 3rd, right here at Really Good Beer Stop. Well, that's it for this time. Now, if you want to try pinks and greens from Ellipsis, you need to hurry because at Really Good Beer Stop, they rotate their 20 beers on tap all the time, so there's always something new. Cheers. Jacksonville Beach's ultimate craft beer and growler store. Hey, before we wrap everything up for today, I wanted to let you know that we're doing a ticket giveaway for the Spring Home and Patio Show. Yep, that's right. Go to iknowjacks.com slash giveaway and sign up for a chance to win four tickets. Now, if you're not feeling lucky and you just want to buy tickets, you can grab them at four bucks off by using the link and discount code listed on iknowjacks.com slash giveaway. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with a brand new episode, but before then, I'll see you on the internet.